Hi friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Rain. Today we are going to discuss about food analysis techniques and this is the continuation of our last video and this session we are going to handle fluorimetry, polarimetry, refractometry and NMR then hypogenated techniques used in the food analysis. First of all, let's say about fluorimetry. Fluorimetry uses the principle of fluorescence and this technique can be applied to those analysis or those analytes which can be dissolved in solvents like either water, alcohol or excite. And the, uh, another important thing is that the analytes to be analyzed uh, need to absorb UV or visible light. And we already said that it works on the principle of fluorescence. Fluorescence is a type of photoluminescence in which the molecules are raised to an electrically excited state by the absorption of ultraviolet or visible radiation. And they decay back to its ground state by emission of a photon with energy different to uh, each molecule. And this is the technique uh, of fluorimetry which works on the principle of fluorescence and it is a photoluminescence uh, and the molecules in here the molecules are raised to an electrically excited state on that state they when uh, they will uh, go to that state by absorption of uv or visible radiation and when they decay back to the ground state they will emit photon with different energy levels the fluorescence property can be observed in organic aromatic compounds which have double bonds and rigid molecular skeletons. And the food relevant fluorescent compounds include aromatic acids, vitamins, cofactors, nucleic acids, porphyrins, polyphenols, alkaloids, etc. With this this technique has very higher sensitivity and selectivity. With this technique, it can be applied in the authentication of virgin olive oils, that is discrimination between their different quality grades and geographical origin and detection of adulteration with low-grade olive oils or other vegetable oils. We can also can, uh, apply this fluorimetry. In oxidation of olive oil, its quality changes during storage and the interaction between plastic food packaging and olive oil have also been studied using this fluorescent technique. The fluorescence of tryptophan was investigated in dairy products as an indicator of protein structure. If tryptophan is present, means we can confirm the protein structure. Fluorescence of oxidation products correlated with lipid oxidation and rancidity of meat. These are the application of fluorimetry in food industry. And the, the minor components of oil such as tocopherols and chlorophylls can also be analyzed with this technique. And the fluorescence was also used for the discrimination of cheese type, then ripening stages and geographical origin. Then riboflavin fluorescence was used as a marker of photo oxidation due to light induced changes in cheese and yogurts. Next technique is refractometry. Refractometry is an analytical method of measuring refractive index to assess the composition and purity. Then the refractometry is used is the determination of the refractive index to know the composition or purity of a sample. How it works? The refractive meter works on the principle of light bending when it passes from air to water. That is, when light enters from air to water, it will show some bending. And the amount of bending or that degree is measured as Briggs units. And this value, the Briggs value will be different for uh, fruits and vegetables. It will be different for different uh, components. And uh, this technique can be used for determining the composition and purity of a sample. 
it is mainly used for measuring the sugar concentration of soft drinks juices colas nectars lactic acid beverages etc and it is used to check the ripening stage of fruit and um, the sugar content of uh, fruits and grapes it is also used for fertilizer selection large or small scale food evaluation and in food processing we said that the refractometry works on the principle of the bending of light when it passes from air to water and in case of the uh, fruit juices and all the due to the dissolved sugar minerals and other trace elements they are denser than water and with the uh, they have a different briggs value also and with the uh, measurement of this briggs value we can check the sugar content and then uh, the organic acid content then uh, for it can be also used for the analysis of carbohydrate content in a food then alcohol content and for analyzing fatty acids etc the next technique is polarimetry and polarimetry it is a sensitive non destructive technique for measuring the optical activity exhibited by organic or inorganic compounds when a compound is considered optically active that is if it is polarized if any uh, linearly polarized light is rotated when passing through it then that compound is considered to be optically active and with this polarimetry it measures the rotation of plane polarized light in a optically active compound and different parameters such as specific rotation concentration sugar content and purity can be measured with this technique the polarimetry measures the rotation of polarized light as it passes through an optically active fluid and with this technique we can measure the value of solution concentration or the content of sugar peptides volatiles etc and uh, the polarimetry technique can be applied for characterization quality and purity control of raw materials and end products and determination of the sugar concentration in beverages and candies determination of the sugar concentration in raw materials preliminary intermediate and end products and also for the monitoring of chemical processes that is example during the manufacture of invert sugar and all and also it can be used as a purity control check and this is the application of polarimetry then coming to nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy the nmr is an electrically chemistry technique used in quality control and research for determining the content and purity of a sample as well as its molecular structure nmr which means nuclear magnetic resonance it is an analytical technique used in uh, quality control and research for determining the purity and the molecular structure of a sample that is nmr can quantitatively analyze mixtures containing non compounds and the principle behind nmr is that many nuclei have spin and all nuclei are electrically charged and if an external magnetic field is applied an energy transfer is possible between the base energy to a higher energy level and this will create an energy gap and the energy transfer takes place at a wavelength that corresponds to radio frequencies and when the spin returns to its base level energy is emitted at the same frequency the signal that matches this transfer is measured in many ways and processed in order to yield an nmr spectrum that is nuclear magnetic resonance spectrum for the nucleus concerned and the that is the nuclear magnetic resonance works on the magnetic property of nucleus and with this magnetic property we can image 
the emission and absorption of energy in radio frequency of electromagnetic spectrum. This is the actual working principle of this nuclear magnetic resonance. That is, it works on the magnet magnetic property of nucleus and with this technique we can image the emission and absorption of energy in radio frequency of electromagnetic spectrum. And uh, the enema can quantitatively analyze mixture containing non-compounds and this is the most powerful technique for determining the structure of organic compounds. And with the enema, we can identify and quantify the metabolites in food. This technique can be applied for uh, analyzing the structure of proteins, for amino acid profiling, for analyzing carotenoids, for analyzing organic acids, for analyzing lipid fractions and we can also analyze the mobility of water in foods. Our next technique is uh, hyphenated. Hyphenated technique is the combination of coupling of, two of the different analytical techniques. Mainly the chromatographic techniques are combined with the spectroscopic techniques and the term hyphenation was first adapted by Hirschfeld. The term was adapted by Hirschfeld. Hyphenated technique means the combination or coupling of uh, uh, different analytical techniques. And why we need this hyphenated techniques? To address the complex analytical problems or for the fast and accurate analysis or for higher degree of automation and sample throughput. We, uh, we offer this broader analysis scope of hyphenated techniques. In hyphenated technique, we are coupling uh, different analytical techniques. The mainly used one is chromatographic techniques combined with the spectroscopic techniques. When a separation technique is connected to a spectroscopic or detection technique, the combined techniques provide useful information for the characterization of, uh, of the sample present in a complex plant extracts. And the commonly used hyphenated techniques are LCMS, GCMS, LCMR. These are the most commonly used techniques. First one we can see about LCMS. LCMS is liquid chromatography mass spectrometry. In LC, with the commonly used LC is HPLC. The, uh, with this technique, this LCMS is a chemistry technique that combines the physical or separation of liquid chromatography with the mass spectroscopy. And uh, this technique we can analyze natural compounds in various, that is the various classes of phytochemicals including coumarins, phenolic acids, then terpenes, steroids, etc. Next one is GCMS, that is gas chromatography mass spectrometry. Uh, this technique is an analytical method that combines the features of gas chromatography and mass spectrometry to identify different substances within a test sample. And this technique can be applied to small and readily volatile compounds stable at high temperature. Uh, the small and readily volatile compounds stable at high temperature are analyzed using GCMS. Uh, that is, the alkaloids can be analyzed. Uh, why? The hydroxylated alkaloids or flavonoids can be converted into derivatives and then they can be analyzed with this GCMS. While comparing the GCMS and LCMS, GCMS is the most preferred to LCMS in terms of cost and operation. Our next technique is LCNMR. In this technique, uh, liquid chromatography is combined with the nuclear magnetic resonance and this is a powerful analytical tool used to resolve complex mixtures. This tool is uh, introduced in 1980s and gained the attraction of phytochemics in 1990s. And this LCMR is used for analyzing complex natural products from a mixture. It can be also used for the analysis of compounds in bioactive extracts.
Other hyphenated techniques used are liquid chromatography, atmospheric pressure ionization spectrometry, and LC-MS-MS -MS, uh, in combination with the NMR. This is uh, LC combined with two spectroscopic uh, techniques in combination with NMR. And this is all about the various analyzing techniques used in food analysis. Thank you for listening this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe our channel and share your valuable comments.